In this video, I will tell you about printing and plotting option of AutoCAD or in short, I will tell you how to get effectively output from your AutoCAD drawing to a paper format. Now, before printing, we need to save all the settings of printing in a page setup. So for making a page setup, let's go to this output tab. Now click on output tab you'll see here a page setup manager click on this page setup manager and you'll see on this page setup manager a default model page setup this model page setup will always be present if you are in model space and we'll create our own page setup before taking the plot of this drawing which you have now click on new and give this page setup a name let's name it new page setup so page pg for, for page so i've used the shortcut now click on ok so once you click on ok after giving it a name you'll see that new page setup will open here now you can assign all the settings to this let's start with the printer and plotter so first you need to select the plotter with which you want to print so depending upon the plotters which are installed in your windows pc you'll see a list of plotters here now I don't have any physical plotter configured so I'm not finding any physical plotters here so all I have are virtual printers so I will select DWG to PDF dot PC3 so this is a virtual plotter which will plot my output into a PDF file so I want this to convert to a PDF let's select this DWG to PDF for that purpose if you are interested in changing the properties of this plotter further you can go to properties and change it but obviously i'm not interested in changing these properties as of now now let's move on to paper size so this is the paper size which you'll use for plotting this drawing so currently iso a4 paper size has been used so i will select the same paper size which is iso a4 but in this case i will make it 297 cross 210 mm so this is the size of paper i am going to use instead of 210 cross 297 mm so this is the horizontal paper you can see the preview here and initially we have selected a vertical paper now after making the selection let's go to this plot area now in this panel we can choose which area of the drawing will be plotted to our paper currently display is selected so that simply means whatever is in your drawing area will be selected for plotting. So let's keep this display on from this list. So and let's look at the preview which we have for now. Let's click on preview. So here we have the preview. So this preview clearly indicates that whatever was in the drawing area is now plotted on this sheet of paper. So this is the sheet of paper and this is our plot. Now let's close this preview and move back to page setup. So now let's select extents. So when you select extents, AutoCAD will include everything which is in the drawing area and it will plot it. It will fit completely everything. So let's select extents and click on preview. So here we have the preview and now you can see that everything has been included in the drawing area and also there are some white spaces. So these white spaces are included if there are some small components of drawing at other places other than this. So it will try to include everything which is in drawing and it will plot it. Now let's close this preview and move to limits. So we decide limits when creating a template. If you have drawn your drawing within the limits, then it will plot that area. But it's not always suggested to use this option because your drawing may or may, may not be included completely within the limits. So let's select limit and see the preview what we have for now. And we have a completely blank screen because all the components in our current drawing is falling completely outside the limits which we have selected previously so it may become a little bit tricky for you to understand what limits is at this point of time let's move on to window now so when you select window you'll see a new button for window here and using this button you can specify a area which will be plotted let's click on this button now and now let's select this small area from the drawing now I'm making a box here and everything which is included in, within the box will be plotted 
and nothing else will be plotted. Let's see the preview now. So here I have the preview and you can clearly see that whatever was included within that rectangle is plotted here and other components are completely left out. So in this way you can create plots of some specific part of your drawing. Let's close this again. So if you are satisfied with these settings, select the one which you generally use. I'm selecting display for now because I want to print everything which is in the current display. And let's move on to the next option. You can select this center the plot option. So this will ensure that your complete drawing fits within the page and symmetrically within the page so that the margins from all the sides are equal. So always try to keep the center the plot selected if you want margins equal from all the sides and if you know how much offset you have you can also select them manually from these options by unchecking this center the plot option now let's move on to paper scale currently fit the paper has been selected if now if you have a unit assigned to your drawing and you want to plot your drawing according to that scale then uncheck this radio button so by unchecking this radio button, you'll ensure that your drawing can be scaled and it will be plotted according to a certain ratio which you'll select now. So currently the ratio which has been selected is 1 mm equals to 116.8 units. So 1 mm on a drawing will be equal to 116.8 units on the actual object. Let's see the preview. So here we have the preview of the original object. Now let's move on and change this value. So right now, 1 mm on drawing equals to 116.8. Let's select this and change it to 50. And now let's see what's the change we have. You can also see the preview of change which happened here. Now let's go to preview and you'll see that the size of drawing has increased here. Now since the scale is larger than the previous scale our drawing is completely falling out of this paper because the actual drawing is very large when compared to the scale which we have selected now let's select scale 1 is to 1 from this list you can also select that so let's select 1 is to 1 scale from this list and let's select the preview and now it's completely way out of this page so with 1 is to 1 scale, whatever size is indicated on the paper will be the size of actual object also. In order to get the proper plot, we need to change this scale from 1 is to 1 to 1 is to 100 maybe. And now our drawing seems to fit. And if you change it to its original value, 1 is 216, so it will fit completely within the drawing. So 116, I'm avoiding 0.8. And let's see the preview. And here we have this drawing, which is completely fitting inside the paper because we have reduced the scale. Now, if you're not concerned about the scale of your drawing and you only want to plot it without thinking about the scale, then you can directly click on fit on paper and this will ignore every kind of a scale assumption in your drawing and it will fit your drawing completely to the paper size which you have selected. So once you select fit on paper, your drawing will completely fit in the paper and appropriate scale will be assigned to the drawing, which is in this case 1 by 116.8 units. So you can use this scale in your uh, title block as well for indicating the current scale. Now let's move on to other options which we have here. So in this plot style table panel, you'll see multiple options, but the most important option is grayscale or monochrome. So these are the plot style tables. And if you select this none plot style, you'll see that your drawing will be plotted according to the color which we have right now. Now these screenings will ensure that colors will be dimmed to these accents. You can create your own plot style also. So when you select a screening of 50%, your drawing color will be dimmed to 50% and the printer will use 50% less ink for printing your drawing. Now let's select grayscale. In this case, a completely black and white drawing will be plotted. So yes, we want to assign it to all layouts as well. And now let's select the preview.
So instead of a colorful drawing, you'll see this completely black and white drawing. So if you want your uh, printer to plot only a black and white drawing, you don't want to use colors, then you can select this gray scale. For 3D drawing, you can select the visual styles also from this drop down menu, which is hidden, shaded, realistic, and there are many other hidden uh, visual styles that you can select. From this plot options panel, you can select whether to plot line weights, transparency, and plot styles or not. So when you check these radio buttons, this will plot object with their line weights and their transparency. When you, once you uncheck it, then it will not plot line weight and transparency, although it may be present in your drawing, but it will not plot if you uncheck it here. Now, let's move on to none and let's move to the last option which we have here. So, we want our drawing to plot in a landscape mode, which is the horizontal mode right now. So, your drawing will now be plotted like this. If you select portrait, your drawing will take this vertical mode. So, this in this way, you can decide which way you want to plot your drawing. And obviously, if you want to plot your drawing upside down, you can select this upside down in portrait as well as in landscape mode. So, if you want to turn it in the other direction, select the mode and then click on this plot upside down. So, I want to select landscape mode and I don't want to turn it upside down. So, we have made multiple settings here. Now, if you're satisfied with the settings, hit OK and your new page setup will be saved here. Now, click on close. So, we have made a page setup and now we are going to make the plot for this drawing. So, for making plot, you can click on this plot if you have this plot option on this quick access toolbar or you can go to this application button and select print from this option. So, go to print plot. Now again you'll see a similar kind of window which we have selected in page setup manager but in this case we have already made a page setup. So click on this drop down and select our page setup which is new page setup and now all the settings will be assigned to this menu and you don't need to assign anything now. So every setting has been assigned according to our selection in the page setup manager window. So once you are satisfied with this, click on OK, specify a location where you want to save your drawing. So I have selected desktop, give it a name, save it. And now here we have our drawing which is saved on the desktop and it will open here. So here we have it, a drawing in PDF format with all the layers here. Now you can turn these layers on and off also depending upon the requirement and here we have it. Okay, so I hope this was clear to you. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment box and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like this and don't forget to subscribe if you want more tutorials in AutoCAD. Thanks for watching.